In Canada's recent 2-0 win against Qatar, Jonathan Davis celebrated his goal by covering the Nike logo. And this is the reason why. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Sub Sound Football. My name is Sub and in this video I'm going to explain to you the controversial reason as to why Nike and Canada are going to war. Now if you're new to my channel and you're interested in all things football power related to whether it's boots, kits, whatever it is i talk about it all so if that's your thing be sure to support the video with a like and subscribe to the channel now with two months left before the world cup kicks off in qatar canada are preparing for the last group of fixtures with the last one being against qatar the canadian team went 2-0 with jonathan david covering the nike logo after his goal now there's a very good reason as to why he's done this as of all the teams that have qualified for the qatar world cup in the next two months canada are the only team not getting a new kit for a tournament and there's a very very good reason why when i say good as is like it's an easy way to understand it but really and truly it's it's not it doesn't make sense in that way but hey you know the way of supply chain manufacturing design it all comes apart into play and this is the reason why kind of don't necessarily have a kit for the tournament now nike have come out and confirmed that canada will not have a new kit for the 2022 world cup and the reason behind this is because they're part of a different development cycle for football kits and nike now what this basically means is that i think there's a design cycle for each kit and I think for World Cup kits, it's probably maybe 18 months or 24 months in advance. So in the part to play, the Canadian soccer, gen well, the Canadian football general, um, Earl Cochrane has said that the design process for football kits takes around 18 months. And that's the reason why they don't have a kit. So in my mind, that kind of says that the Canadian FA themselves didn't even expect to qualify for the World Cup, which sounds very bad. But I guess that's partly their fault as well as Nike's fault for not, you know, giving Canada a new kit. Now, even though several players have actually voiced their discontent at the fact that Canada aren't getting a new kit, I don't think it make a difference to how they play on the pitch itself. But, you know, this is Canada's first World Cup qualification in around, I think, 36 years. So it would be very nice to commemorate the occasion with a new kit. Now, this is me just spitballing here, me just maybe daydreaming or whatever yeah but there's a certain canadian musician who's got a very good and close relationship with nike he's even filmed music videos with um nike as well at the hq he's you know even in the nba he's even got his local team the raptors a special kit in collaboration with him and nike so maybe he can put a last a few last minute strings and maybe get a new kit for the Canadian national team ready for the World Cup in a few months time but hey you know that's just a pipe dream so we probably won't see it happen but you know it'd be kind of strange and I wouldn't be even surprised to see it you know because I'm pretty sure Drake can pretty much do whatever he wants at this moment in time but hey it's a fantasy uh, all the same hey and that's it for the video let me know your thoughts do you think Canada deserve a new kit do you think Nike are to blame do you think the Canadian FA are more to blame let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And like always, if you want the video sublime, like the video, if you follow us apart, still like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on all my socials. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on TikTok, and I'm also on Twitch. So once again, my name is Sub. This has been Sub Sons Football. Thank you for watching. Peace out.